Let's see how we can use MathCAD Prime to help us calculate the deflection in a beam. To start with, let's add a title to this worksheet. I can go ahead and format the text of this title by changing the font size, making it bold, and also moving it around on the worksheet. The first step I want to do is to define the cross-sectional area of my beam. As a reference, I'm going to insert the picture. And let's say we want to use a rectangular cross-section of the beam. We need to go ahead and define the width and the height of the cross-sectional area. Let's go ahead and specify a width of 10 and a height of 15. And then use the equation for moment of inertia of a rectangular cross-section, which is equal to 1 over 12 times the width times the height cubed. Math can calculate what the moment of inertia is. If I want to go back and change the dimensions, MathCAD will automatically update the calculations. What I can now also do is add units to my definition. I can do so by just typing in CM for centimeters to both the width and the height. And as I do so, the moment of inertia will update to have dimensions of length to the fourth power. I can also specify some material properties, such as the elastic modulus of the beam. I can set that equal to 200 gigapascals. I am now ready to define the loading geometry. To do so, I'm going to bring in another image for reference. I can resize this image and then go ahead and define the input parameters. I can specify a load of 100 newtons, a beam of 15 meters, and apply that load at a distance 11 meters away from the left hand side. I can now go ahead and type in the equation that pertain to the forces acting on this beam. I can do the same for the shear in the moment. And finally, I can type the equation for the deflection in the beam. Note that all these equations appear in a way that you would write them on the whiteboard. This is what we call natural math notation. We can also go ahead and move around any of these blocks. Now we can add plots to this worksheet. To do so, we need to first define an x variable. Go to the plot tab of the ribbon menu, insert a plot, I can duplicate this plot for the moment as well. Finally, I can add a plot for the deflection. I can even add a vertical line that represents where the load is being applied. I can manipulate these plots by picking the plot and then changing various properties such as the trace color. Assuming that you're documenting your analysis as you go through this worksheet, what we can do is go ahead and produce a final, a final report. 
In this particular example, I've already created a title page. I've added headers and footers to my, page, uh, to my worksheet. I've broken it up into uh, sections where I define the cross section, uh, define the material, define the loading geometry, and so forth. What I can now do is publish this worksheet to a PDF. Using MapCAD, what you see is what you get. It's a WYSIWYG environment. From this PDF, you can tell that this is just the exact copy of the MathCAD worksheet. As long as you document your work as you go through your routine, then it becomes a very easy self-documenting application.